Namaskaram and swagatham dear friends. Hope you are doing great. This is Philanthrop from India with yet another amazing episode of Learn Malayalam Through English. Um, today I am going to discuss some common words that Malayali say. Uh, so, um, there are going to be slang words. I am going to discuss five of them today. So, let's get started and see some of them. And what is slang? It's a type of language that consists of words and phrases that are regarded as very informal, are more common in speech than writing, and are typically restricted to a particular context or group of people. So they are very informal. You can see this in speech rather than writing, and typically restricted to a particular context of people means when Malayalis use slang words that, that is only Malayalis only use that. The main uh, use of slang words is that you can understand the day-to-day -day life conversation better and make conversations better if you know the slang words. So, the first one. The first one is adipoli. Adipoli means awesome or great. I know most of you know this word and maybe most of you know this meaning also. Um, usually Malayalis use this to give compliments about something. Um, for example, Adiboli Bakshanam. Adiboli Bakshanam means great food. Adiboli Cinema means awesome movie or awesome cinema. Adiboli Yatra means great journey. Yatra means journey. So, uh, those are some examples of, of using Adiboli. Um, if you bit verbalize it it is adichupulichu so the literal meaning of that is adichupulichu is uh, trash until destruction i have used an example here to show you the meaning here so example is samaram cheyda vidyarthigal college bus adichupulichu that means the students who protested destroyed the college bus samaram is protest vidyarthigal is students say the or chega means to do rest you know they trash or they destroyed it so that is the literal meaning of that word adichabulichu but when in when used as a slang let us see nyangal trip adichabulichu it means we enjoyed the trip trip to the maximum or we made the trip great um it doesn't mean that they destroyed the trip okay so the main um, feature of slang words are that you can actually understand the meaning from the vibe of that sentence or um, how people are saying it there is an always an expression or emotion to a sentence they are saying so you can actually understand what they are meaning um, some new generation variations for this uh, slang word adichu or adiboli uh, as polichu or poli. The third one is a different way they write it. It is like in different generations, when different generations, new generations come, they simply like to make changes, but they all mean the same. They all mean the same. They all mean great or awesome. The second one, ayo. Ayo is a very common word that Malayalis use for anything and everything. Um, we can consider it as a Malayalam interjection. Interjection means um, the words that we use to do a uh, remark um, or uh, something that we put before an exclamation. So, for example, in English, alas, in Malayalam, we can consider ayo as one like that. Um, I would say it has a wide range of use. Like we can use it for those very similar things and very complicated stuff. So as in these examples, ayo nyan pena marnuvoi means I forgot the pen. So mostly this is used to remark unhappy instances or instances that you are sorry about to remark uh, to tell about them. So ayo nyan pena marnu means um, I forgot the pen. Pena is pen in Malayalam. And second example is ayo. Ayo and a kollan So 
you can say this when someone is coming to kill you someone is coming coming to kill me that is the meaning of that um sentence so that is why i say the way you express it is different because the situation is different one is like you just forgot your pen and second one is that someone is coming to kill you but you can still use the word are you in front of that but just the expression first one is like are you in pain am the way second is like are you in a colon with thing so that that is the difference and um some more examples in about in this um are you curry loop would be someone put more salt in curry uh so they are just saying like ayyo karil uppu kodi poi karil uppu kodi poi so uppu is salt in malayalam curry you all know what curry is curry is a, a famous word so um kodi poga means to put more or to be more so usually mom say uh that usually because when they make curries if they put more salt in curries they just say ayyo karil uppu kodi poi ayyo angane cheyalle don't do that someone is warning you or someone is um, giving you an advice ayyo angane cheyalle don't do that ayyo um okay the last one is a little bit different ayyo vendayirunu oh it it means that it was not necessary um, you shouldn't have done that suppose a situation where someone helps you and you didn't wanted them to help you so you just say like ayyo vendayirunu um so when i say this ayyo is used in unhappy situations it doesn't mean that it should be necessarily in unhappy situations it can also be in situations like this where you you never wanted it but um okay it's okay all right you are just sorry about it so are you when i don't know so that that is about are you third is kurappam illa i know this a z h a part is a little bit tough for you it is kura ra kurappam illa it's also used as a remark kurappam means problem means problem and illa means no so kurappam illa means no problem or not a problem or it means it is not nothing it is not great not bad just okay it just mean that so let's see some examples here exam engane undayirunu how was the exam corpamilla so you are just asking someone how the exam was and they are just saying like corpamilla oh it's it's okay it's not that great or bad but just okay uh, and that is a common scenario for someone answers about it uh, about a exam i i recently or i would say i have never heard someone saying an exam was awesome or very good for them very rarely does people say that they will just say it's okay so kurappam illa so that's one thing uh, one example second one is film engane undu how was the film kurappam illa it's okay not not great or not bad kurappam illa okay next one the fourth word is pani kitti pani kittuga the literal meaning of that is getting a job when used as a slang word it means trapped or getting into big problem um so for this one i couldn't write many examples here so just listen carefully what i am going to tell about this so the way i started to hear this uh, word uh, or how this came i would say it is from movies movies means the gangster movies but there are two rival gangs and they plot um plans against each other and when one gang get a huge blow from the other one they will just say like a pani kitti um so it is like they didn't expect it but they got into a big problem or they are trapped so that is how it came but later on people started using a lot in day to day life 
to show something uh, to put a remark on something that they didn't expect it um, or something that went against their expectation so i will also tell you a normal a normal life situation um just think about this scenario but suppose your mom asks you to go to a grocery store and buy some stuff you bought that stuff from there and um when you were returning uh you didn't uh, take one of the bags so you reach back home and you didn't find the other bag and you just put the remark funny uh that is that is the scenarios where you use the word like when i say that it is nothing like a gangster gangs or the plants they are plotting against each other but that is how when used in a slang it just means something you are getting into a big problem or you are you just got into a problem no that's it some of the variations of that panigitti uh, is ettinde panigitti ettinde pani means ettinde means of the number 8 of the number 8 um and how that came is because the number 8 if you just think how it is written as the as in figures um once you get into that shape of eight you cannot get out of it so you got into the problem so it is a big problem ettinde pani kitti pani palum vellathil kitti pani palum vellathil kitti i i should be honest with you i don't know the literal meaning of that it is just a slang word all means the same and pani pali pani pali it's all it also means the same uh you got into a big problem so the final one the last and final one for today is kola maki kola makaga means uh, the literal meaning is to make a pond which does not make any sense as a slang word because it means mess something up some examples here are nalla padam aayirunnu paksha climax kola maki it was good feel it was a good film but climax was messed up avan paattu paadi kolamaaki he sang and messed up the song okay it, i think it is very easy to understand it and just um take care of the pronunciation this kolamaaki not kolamaaki so those were five slang words that malayali is used um i hope you understood it use the comment section to ask your doubts and put your suggestions there and uh, uh if you have not subscribed subscribe my channel share it with your friends and like this video i'll be back in with a new video soon have a good day take care bye nandi namaskaram